You guys have probably seen the absurdity that is Vanguard Zombies right now. They just remade a map that people didn't like in the first place and made it into round base. They added a laser gun into the game. That's all kinds of madness. And it's even more mad because we're we getting that laser gun dark aether or dark matter gold viper what is it called i don't even know but that gun is the ex1 and we're getting a gold viper today yeah i know it's wild we're playing vanguard but before we get into the grind if we ignore this roblox weapon that i'm holding right now this is not a mod this is actually in the game uh, if we come down over here on this new map, Beheaded, which is the Statue of Liberty on the ground over here, uh, there's a little Shadows of Evil Easter egg. You come back here, this area might seem familiar to you. This is like a, a nice little remake of the Shadows of Evil spawn area. Like over here, this would be a quick revive. There would be a spawn room over here. This right here would be closed. You have to buy your way through. You get the artifact from like right here. It's a nice little homage to one of the better zombies maps in the game. And you know, they, they even did it a little more justice by putting in the worst zombies map we've ever seen. So let's hop into that. Okay. Okay, here we are on the Archon, the Akron. I don't even know. I don't, I'm not going to take the time to learn the pronunciation of this map. Make a punch machine out of commission. <laughs> All right, Vaughnless, Gabriel Craft. I need you guys to shut up right now. I'm trying to do commentary here. But this map is a remake of Terra Melkata, whatever. The other like Dare Anfang type map that was dropped in here in Vanguard. All they did was throw it in, throw a green tint on it for some reason. And they made a round base. I know there were a few people excited hearing there's another round based map coming to Vanguard, you know, another round based zombies map, even in general, coming out. Everyone's like, oh, you know, it piques their interest. Like, let's check this out. Let's see. Let me tell you, this thing's doo doo. Now, this isn't my first time playing the map. This is my first reaction to it. Uh, if you want to see that, I actually streamed my very first time playing it and my first reactions to this laser gun, the EX1. So, if you guys want to see that, I'll have a link to the stream somewhere on the video. But this is really upsetting i mean my expectations were pretty low for vanguard i mean this isn't anything surprising to me we know how treyarch's been with this game you know they haven't put in full effort i don't know if they've had the time or resources i don't think that's for anyone to say we're not all like in that room with the dev seeing what's going on so just my assumption is that they, they don't got time, they don't got the resources, and they don't give a shit about this game all right let's just hope by the time the next treyarch game comes out that it is nothing like this. I want to, I never want to see this stuff again. But anyways, right here, this is the EX-1, the laser gun. I grabbed the blueprint for it because I wasn't a high enough level in the battle pass to have the gun. Now I do, I have it fully leveled up, but the blueprint's fun. We're going to use it. Uh, it has this weird thing where it's like, it's almost skips like three frames in between in, in the animation to try to make it look 8-bit. I swear I'm not lagging. You can see the zombies moving fine. It's just like the gun. Uh, it's a little hard on the eyes to get used to, but eh, it's fun. I like it. It's pretty cool. And just, I, I honestly respect the balls on them to, you know, be like, you know what? This is a World War II game. Our game sucks anyways. No one's really playing it. Let's throw a fucking laser gun in there. So, I mean, props to them. Uh, you know, it, it piqued my interest. That's the whole reason why we're getting this thing, Gold Viper. It, it's crazy to see the the tide shift on a, a COD game so fast and just them throw everything out the window. They're like, fuck it. Let's throw in an animatronic cat that you can play as. Oh, guess what? Snoop Dogg is here too. Here's a laser gun. Like, just go wild. And I've never been one to care about, like, historical accuracy in games. It's literally just a video game. Who gives a shit? And I, I, I love that they're just throwing everything at it. Just like whatever. We'll put whatever we want in this. We don't care. So big respect for that. But while we're on the topic of a Dark Aether or Gold Viper, uh, I have a decent amount with this gun done. I played a lot on this map. Well, a, a little bit on this map. And I mostly grinded on Shinonuma. I thought it was easier to navigate. And, I'll, you know, a little more zombies feeling than this. But since it is the new gun, it is the new map, we're going to get it done here. And speaking of which, I need to start getting some points so we can go get our Pack-A-Punch parts. It's kind of like how on D-Machina, you see how Pack-A-Punch is shut down or whatever. You need to go hit the anomaly to go ahead and get like the part for it. It's like that, but in two different pieces. Uh, there's one piece all the way over here and one piece all the way over there. I don't know. This just, I mean, take out all of my, you know, preconceptions. I don't even know if that's a word. Like, all my bias towards Vanguard coming into this. If I were a Zombies player who hasn't heard anything about this game coming in and was told this is a round-based map, I'd be so confused. The layout on this is just so weird. It's weirdly like vertical but not in a good vertical way like a, a mantling vertical kind of way i don't know how to explain it i just don't like it too much but let's go ahead and grab this machine part 
and try to make our way over to the other one. And this is basically like the end of the map over here. There's a portal here that I thought, you know, might have led to something cool. But that's literally just a fast travel back to spawn. Uh, you know, we got some perks over here. The perk system in this game is a whole nother thing. I'm not going to get into that. But they also have like the wonder weapon or like the, the shield or whatever you want to call it right here. Same thing as the Terrell Melkata, whatever. Uh, don't know how to get it. Uh, there's an Easter egg for this map too. There's a big boss fight you can do. Don't know how to do any of that. Don't think I'm going to learn it to be honest. But, you know, it, there's some stuff to do here. Some effort was put in, maybe not in all the places we'd like to see it, but it's a map, you know, it's a map. But en enough negativity. Let me try to like pull some positives out of this map. Um, I like how these crystals look. I think the crystals look bomb, but those have probably been there for a while. I never played the Taro Melkata map. So a lot of this is new to me. The main thing I always say about this game is I really like how it looks visually. And then they try to make it like look worse here. If you guys have seen Breaking Bad, you know how whenever there's like a scene in Mexico or whatever, they have that yellow orange tint. Like it, it's just that yellow orange color grading. That's like the opposite of that. That's This is like if they went to like the swamps of Florida or something. I'm trying to think of, or like up in the, a forest in Oregon. Like, why the hell is this map green? Like, it seems to clash with the whole, like, color palette of the map. Like, red, beige, white, all these deserty colors. And then you put some color that just clashes with it, like, over top of it. I, I just don't understand it from, like, a visual standpoint. But from every other part of, the, of Vanguard, I think it's very visually appealing. And this map took the one thing I really liked about it, and there's just like, eh. Get that out of here. I said I was going to try to be nice, and I end up going into a tangent of something that I didn't like. What's... Well, something nice I can say about it. I don't know. But if you guys have gone on here, you've tried out this map, you tried out this gun, what do you think? I personally, I really like this laser gun. It feels nice in zombies. It has infinite ammo. So you, I'm never running and buying ammo. I don't have to worry about picking any up. It just re or it overheats and you got to like recharge it push the the fan thing back in it's pretty fun the reload is kind of slow so once you get into those higher rounds like around 25 30 and the zombies are a little faster it gets a little risky to hit that overheat oh like right there and it's not even a high round it's round seven with two zombies left and i just let them take me out because i'm a genius but using this gun has has made playing this mode a little more tolerable like it, it's just something fun something something cute something quirky to mess around with now our last part is right over here there it is and now that we got those parts we gotta go over to pack a punch we have all these ghostly figures this is kind of like mauer we're all, like the, the disciple and all the floating zombies are all around. And then once we put this all together, they become not ghostly and you can shoot them and they can shoot back some of them. And then you start to run out of ammo and you start to get scared because you have no health and no self revive. You're going to die on round eight in Vanguard zombies and it's going to be really embarrassing. But uh, we power through. We improvise, adapt and we overcome over here. Now, this guy does not move. Apparently he does not chase. Oh my God. He's going to kill me. He's going to fucking kill me. No. I want to hear nothing, all right? Nothing. No one say a word. Pretend this didn't happen. All right, we got Pack-A-Punch on. First try, obviously. No need for second tries over here. You know, it's just a really easy game. I don't think I've ever been down once in my life playing this, actually. All right, now you guys got to see this. Look how ridiculous this weapon looks Pack-A-Punch. Oh, wait. Don't kill me. Now try to ignore the green tint for a second. <laughs> this is what the Pack-A-Punch camo looks like. I'm pretty sure these are new pack a bunch of camos. These could have been on Terror Mel, Mel Gibson, whatever the fuck this map was called. Uh, honestly can't give a fair judgment of what they look like because it's on this 8-bit gun that lags around. But yeah, I mean, that's that, that's a thing. Like, actually though, who decided green and red was a good pairing? Green and red's about as good a pairing as hot sauce in my asshole. I've been hearing this for a while. Like, when you spawn in the game, you hear this metal clinging. Not this. Oh, jeez. But this right here, there's a fan just bouncing around. Why are you doing that? For a while, I thought there was like some big giant metal spider walking around, but it's been a fan this whole time. I think the fan stopped moving. Oh, it's fixed now. 
Good on you, fan. Way to figure shit out. Now we got the map basically opened up. We got Pack-a-Punch. All there is left to do is really to grind camos. Ooh, this is what Pack-a-Punch 2 looks like. I don't even know why I'm showing you. It just looks so weird on this gun. But it kind of looks like Mauer's Pack-a-Punch, doesn't it? No way I'm lagging out. I'm playing a solo game of zombies. And the server got disconnected. Vanguard, baby. Rise up, Vanguard. Okay, so here's the thing. It might have been my internet, but I did disconnect earlier, so I was on edge. <sighs> Why do I have to redo all that again? Okay, I need you guys to listen to this. This wasn't just a one-off thing. You hear that? That fan is still fucking up. It sounds like a giant, like, mech walking around. Oh, what the hell? I don't think I've ever placed the relic. Okay. I've never tried this before. What the hell is this? Oh. What's going on, dude? Let's look at Cortifex's feet. These things are nasty, bro. You built like a bird. Dude looks like Ben 10 and a bird had a baby. Down in the comments, what would you guys rate his feet? One out of 10. I'm saying a seven. Later. Oh shit, we got a portal now. Oh, what's up, Cortifex? Ooh. Actually, this is perfect. I need a few of these machine gun guys for this camo challenge. So if you could spawn in a few more, that'd be great. Maybe not at the same time though, like space them out. Now this area looks pretty fucking sick. I'm not gonna lie. I fuck with this area. So where do I go? Do I jump down? I feel like I die if I jump down. That's a cool sound. Oh, I'm dead. That's not a cool sound. So they got a star destroyer in this bitch. Okay. It's just gonna teleport me back. Am I still gonna be on the ground when I get back? Or I'm gonna be standing. Oh, no, I'm standing. I'm good. And now I can't go in there. It's all barred off. I need to complete trials. I think that's about as far as I go. Okay, maybe this map's a little cooler than I gave it credit for. All right, let's grab pack three. This is what it looks like. Insane. Looks beautiful. Really feels like I'm playing Roblox. Come on, motherfucker. Reload. Later. How many more do we need? Is, is that it actually? Did we get gold viper? Oh, we did! There's Marvelous. We are Marvelous. And Golden Viper. Let's go, baby. Actually got it. Oh, my Atlanta. This is what the death machine's like in this game? This thing's crazy. Anyways, let's back out of this game and go see what this thing looks like with Gold Viper. All right, I'm using the non-Roblox version of the gun so we can actually see what the camo looks like on it. And this is what Gold Viper looks like on it. Honestly, I like the Gold Viper in this game. I think it looks really good. It might not be gold and it may not be Viper, but it's a nice red camo. It looks pretty sweet, I'm gonna be honest. It looks really cool. And just for fun, what does it look like on the Roblox one? Oh, that's dumb. That's stupid. I like that. It doesn't shine and shimmer though. Oh my God, don't show this to how Howie Mandel. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. This is what it looks like with Plague Diamond on the stupid one and Dark Aether on the stupid one. And this is what Plague Diamond looks like on the actual one and Dark Aether on the actual one. But let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right. This is what the XM1 looks like with Gold Viper on this stupid blueprint. Not bad. Not bad. If I saw this in a Roblox game, I'd be impressed. But this is in Call of Duty and I'm still kind of impressed. Kind of a fucked up thing. If you think about it, you come over here. Mama Joe's. What the fuck? Can't escape it. And the actual version of the weapon? Oh, that looks clean. I like that. I'm not gonna lie. The, some of the camos in this game look really good and some of them look really bad. Like Gold Viper? Sick. Dark Aether? Gross. Like it's a complete opposite in this game than it was in Cold War. Like this Gold Viper looks so nice. It fits the gun so well. It just makes it look extra futuristic. Let's say what's up to Shadows of Evil one more time. What's going on? Oh, and there's a beast thing here. Maybe that's a reference. This guy right here kind of looks like the cop. But there you go. That's my experience with the new map and the new gun. Uh, honestly... It was all right. It was okay. Uh, I don't see myself really coming back and playing it unless they add more <laughs> laser guns to it that are fun to use like that. But uh, uh, definitely not worth the time to grind it. I was definitely not doing it efficiently, but the leveling of the weapon took forever. Uh, the actual playing the game, I ran into some issues where I disconnected once not my fault the other time maybe my fault and it just kind of seems like rushed and thrown out there again i haven't completed the easter egg so i don't know the little part that i saw looked pretty cool but and yeah, overall it's eh. i mean it's it's about like the motto of the game i guess but with that i'm gonna go ahead and end today's video so if you guys like this you want to see more go and leave a like on it if, and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put all kinds of COD content throughout the week uh, if you want to keep up with me outside of youtube you can go ahead and follow my instagram and my twitter links to those are down in the description below as well as a link to our discord if you want to join that but that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later